I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at discoveries that prove giants actually exist. Have the Wisconsin Giants. In May of 1912, near Lake Develan in Wisconsin, some gigantic burial mounds were found. Inside were 18 skeletons found by the Pearson brothers. This was reported by the New York Times on the 4th of May 1912. All of the skeletons had strange and freakish features. They were about 10 feet tall and their skulls were much larger than any humans have today. They also had long heads and double rows of teeth. And to make things even more strange, they had 12 fingers and 12 toes instead of the 10 we have. So there we go guys, after hearing these scientific facts, do you think giants exist now? Vote in the- Coming up next, we have the Kentucky Dover Mound. In Kentucky, USA, you'll find the Dover Mound. This is one of the largest Native American burial grounds. But few know that inside it, a seven foot tall skeleton was found. The skeleton was of an Adena man. He had an abnormally long head and also a disproportionately large torso. At another Native American burial ground in Ohio, similar remains were found. The skeletons were of very tall men with extra long heads and humongous torsos. Some say the skeletons are of aliens, but science has confirmed that these were human beings. Maybe they were giants or the product of some kind of genetic mutation. Either way, it's an amazing and curious find. Lock Cave Giants According to some, from 2600 BC to the mid-1800s, one cave in Nevada was used by a race of cannibal giants. These giants had red hair and lived in Lovelock Cave. This tribe were cannibals, which made them unpopular with the Native Americans who lived in the same area. They would apparently hunt Native American tribes. But that was until one tribe named the Paiute tribe lit a huge bonfire in the mouth of the cave, taking out all the giants inside it. You can see here some of the gigantic skulls found inside this cave. These were discovered in the late 1800s when the cave was excavated in 1924. Inside was storage pits of fishing gear, bark sandals, and huge mosaics. In total, 20,000 artifacts were discovered. The bodies inside the cave had also been mummified. And strangely enough, all of the giants also had red hair. That would have been very uncommon back then and likely the cause of some kind of genetic mutation at birth. Next up is Death Valley Giants. Death Valley is the most dangerous desert in America, but in 1931 a physician named F. Bruce Russell was discovering some caves out in the desert. What he first thought was a small cave system turned out to go on for 180 square miles. Inside he found the remains of religious rituals and strange hieroglyphics, and 9 feet tall humanoid skeletons. In 1947 a San Diego newspaper reported on this. The skeletons had been mummified and had been around for 80,000 years. But in the modern era, the story's pretty hard to find and simply faded away. Next is Giant Footprints. It's not always skeletal bones people point to as evidence that giants exist. Footprints can be just as useful. One of the most famous giant footprints is found in Empelouzi, South Africa. It was found nearly 100 years ago by a hunter, and the locals nicknamed it the Footprint of God. It measured 1.2 meters long. If we do the math and work out that the rest of its body is sized in proportion to its foot, then it would be 27 feet tall. The footprint is also in granite, and there are no chisel marks into it. This means it must have stepped on the rock while it was still molten. It's estimated the footprint could be anywhere from 200 million to 3 billion years old. That's why some say this was not the footprint of a human, but instead a dinosaur. After all, 3 billion years ago, any life on Earth was microscopic. That is, unless there were giants before there were regular human beings. There have actually been many other footprints all around the world. For example, a 2.5 meter footprint in San Jose, California. And in 2016, gigantic footprints were discovered in Guizhou, China. Each print was nearly two feet long and the indent went nearly three centimeters into solid rock. Archaeologists say whatever made the prints had to be over 13 feet tall. Also in South Africa, four long footprints were discovered in 1912. They were dated at over 200 million years old. They looked like a human's footprint, but maybe it was some kind of unknown animal. But whatever it was, scientists say it would have been over 27 feet tall. Next up is New York Giants. No, this isn't the football team. Instead, this dates back to an archaeological dig done in 1871. The dig, which took place at a Native American burial ground, found 200 giant skeletons. Some measured up to 9 feet tall. It was estimated the remains could have been 9,000 years old. At the time of discovery, these remains were widely reported in the media, but you can't find many of these reports today, maybe because it was found so long ago. Or maybe because when you type in New York Giants, all you get is NFL coverage. Next up is the Giants of Ecuador. 
In 2013, Ecuador had heavy storms. This destroyed a lot of the landscape, but also uncovered some amazing things underground. The most amazing find in the Aloha province was a gigantic female skull. The skull was about 600 years old. This sparked a discovery for the rest of the skeleton, which was found a few weeks later. The skeleton stood at nearly 8 feet tall. This is astounding, seeing as the average height of a woman back then was only 5 feet. That would be the equivalent of us having a 9 foot tall human being around today. But here's where things get crazy. Further research in the area led to the discovery of 5 more gigantic skeletons. All of these were between 7 and 8 feet tall. They were buried all in the same place, in deep elaborate graves. Archaeologists concluded they were probably from tribes. But there's no scientific documentation of these giants in Ecuador. No one 600 years ago wrote anything about them. Or if they did, we haven't found the documents yet. But the skeleton of a much larger a giant was also found in Ecuador in 1964. Some strange bones were found in a mountainous area. Experts analyzed the bones and found the human they belonged to was over 25 feet tall. They also concluded those bones were over 10,000 years old. Next up is North Korea's giant soldier. The USA has fighter jets, warships, grenade launchers, and spy planes. But as far as we know, they don't have an 8-foot giant soldier. But North Korea of all places does. Western media was given some photos of Kim Jong-il's funeral. This was the father of Kim Jong-un, the previous leader of North Korea. The Western press photos were heavily edited. But in 2011, the unaltered versions leaked. Something removed from the previous photos was one gigantic soldier. He towers above his fellow comrades in the snow. And he appears to be twice their size at about 8 feet. The image is from KCNA, the North Korean news agency. And the photo has not been manipulated, as the giant soldier appears to be shown from many different angles. Some believe this giant to be Ri Myung Han. He is dubbed Michael Ri because he's said to be the best basketball player in North Korea. Seeing as every North Korean has to join the army, this could be a possibility. But the true identity of North Korea's giant has never been confirmed. Some say he was made in a lab, but maybe he's just a natural North Korean giant. Up first, we have Chinese giants. In 2017, some archaeologists found some 5,000-year-old giant skeletons. This was in Shandong, China. The human bones found in East China were very big and strong. The height of at least one of the people reached 1.9 meters, while another was at 1.8 meters or taller. They also found some ancient relics from a Neolithic civilization. People thousands of years ago were way smaller than we are today. And in China, people are also known for not being that tall. That's what makes these archaeological finds even more amazing. Ruins of houses in the area indicate people lived pretty comfortable lives. And the reason why these giants may have existed would be to acquire better food. If the Chinese had giants, imagine how tall people from other countries would be.